Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Moshe bringing you guys another video. Guys, before we start the video, if you guys please can, just go down below and smash that like button. I'm trying to kill as many likes as I can. You guys have been killing it lately and I appreciate that, but today in this video, I want you guys to smash it as many times as you can. As you guys can see in the background, we have Call of Duty World War Two. Now, if you guys didn't know, E3 was just this week, uh, actually today, and they announced a whole bunch of new things with Call of Duty. They played the trailer, I did a breakdown on the trailer, and now they had a live stream on how it was made. Uh, Michael Conji was there and talked a little bit. I have that recorded, but I don't want to upload that because it's a little bit boring. So I'm going to break it down for you guys and tell you guys basically what was said in the live stream. With, with this this beautiful game playing in the background. I mean, it looks good. In my opinion, it looks really good. I think definitely it's going to be a fun game. The graphics look good. No more exosuits. I don't know. I'm excited for it. I know a lot of people are excited for this. But yeah, let's get right into what was said during the live stream. So if you guys don't know, Swastika, the Nazis, are not going to be in multiplayer or zombies. Maybe zombies, but actually, I don't know. I know Swastikas are in campaign. Charlie Intel tweeted this out. Not in multiplayer or zombies, which is weird because they had Nazi zombies. I don't know if they're going to have that in zombies. That's, they only said so far campaign. Next thing, trailer is in-game gameplay. They spent hours capturing this trailer. So another in other words, the trailer that we watched, that was all in-game gameplay. It was not uh, fake stuff for just a trailer, you know? They they got that from in the game. Um, they spent hours trying to capture that for the trailer, and it, it looks freaking amazing. Another thing, tanks are exclusive to War Mode and COD World War II. Now, War Mode, there's a few notes I took down. Um, War Mode, what it is, it's basically you're working as a team. You have to escort the tank. Uh, there's different game modes in war mode where you escort the tank or you can take over a bridge. You have to protect your bridge or you have to take out the bridge. Um, it's kind of like hard point. Uh, escort the tank is kind of like, I forget what the old Call of Duty was called. In Advanced Warfare, there was escorting one of the robots. I forgot what it's called, but I know you guys know what it's called. So down in the comments, write it down so people will know. It's basically just like that, but you're escorting the tank. And that's why we ended up seeing the tank. Maybe you can end up driving the tank and controlling it. Uh, that's as far as we know. There's a storyline behind war mode and there's it's mission objectives you know so it's basically like uh you have to the only way to win is not like team deathmatch you have to complete these missions that you get and it's a team-based gameplay next thing is headquarters is a new social experience for cod world war ii command other players challenge players to shootouts 1v1 duels and hq so headquarters basically a lot of people have questions about headquarters headquarters is huge um it's basically the social platform i think there's like 48 different people that can join headquarters in each thing in each lobby which is crazy it's basically where you just run around and say you socialize and a lot of people are asking is that the main menu it can be it's not the main menu but if you push one button it takes you right to it so it basically is the main menu and they even said that in the live stream next thing guys perks are gone you guys they have the new uh perks are another thing guys perks are now gone which sucks i don't know how i feel about that because perks were huge in call of duty i mean perks were everything in call of duty but they have that new thing called the division uh, division training which it sucks I mean I don't know I don't know how I feel about that yet but we'll see we'll see what happens um, there's gonna be a lot more information leaks pretty soon so I'll make sure to cover that in more videos later on today I'm just trying to give you guys as much as I can from the live stream primary weapons secondary weapon attachments and equip you and equipment you pick so you can pick your primary there's create a class you can pick your primary weapon you can pick your secondary weapon you can pick your attachments to the weapons and you can pick the equipment like a grenade stun grenade c4 stuff like that so you can still create your class it's not gone a lot of people are saying create a class is gone oh my god we're freaking out but you just can't pick perks which sucks. perks have been in call of duty for as long as i can remember people were asking is there character customization of course there's character customization man think about it it is advanced warfare it's the same creators of that game and that game had the best character customization and that was the supply jobs it was basically customizing your character look different from everyone else so i definitely think they're gonna have that in this next call of duty they're gonna definitely drop some new stuff in supply jobs a lot of people are mad about that a lot of people are happy but it's i mean i want to know your guys's opinion i'm I, I don't care too much about it i mean i'm happy because i like character customization because you make your character look different from other people's but that's just my opinion dolphin diving is back you guys it's no more sliding um they announced it during the live stream that there's no more sliding they thought that the diving would be a lot better for this game uh boots on the ground it just 
just fits in the game a little bit better. Now, if you think about that in competitive, sliding helped out a lot in competitive because you can slide and shoot. And as you're doing this, it gets you to locations quicker. So it made the game a lot faster. Now, when you dolphin dive, that does nothing really. It's just a, a fun thing to do. I mean, think about it. When you dolphin dove, you couldn't shoot as you're diving. Maybe to get out of a room quick, you dolphin dive. I don't know. And it makes your body flat in the air. So it's kind of like drop shot, but in the air. I don't know. I don't know if it'll help competitively. Um, it's just a fun thing that people love doing in Black Ops. There are only two maps playable at E3. One of them is Battleship. Um, Michael Kondry kept saying it's a ton of fun. It's the small map with the Battleship and it, it, it looks a lot small. It looks small. It looks really small. It looks like the remastered map, but the old school Battleship. So that's just one of the maps. I just want to let you guys know about that. A lot of people were asking about parachutes. Parachutes into the map. It's a score streak called Paratroopers. These troops deploy into battle and play alongside your team. So you do not parachute into the map. It is a kill streak. Like I said, I said it's neither going to be a kill streak or something like that, but it's bots. I think they're just bots on your team, which is really confusing because I don't think I've ever, I don't remember if I really think, I don't remember seeing bots in a Call of Duty that actually could get kills for you. I know that they have psychosis where it shot random bots, but they never shot. So that's going to be a pretty cool kill streak. I mean, to be honest, having a 6v6 and then someone calls that score streak kill streak or score streak and then they have another 12 people on their team that's going to be hard it's going to be fun i think it's definitely going to add more uh st strategic to the game it's going to be fun man I, I i like that idea now going back to the war mode now this is more than just a game mode it's not just like oh it's specifically like hardcore or not hardcore but yes they're going to have hardcore in this game by the way guys but it's not specifically like tdm or hardpoint it's they have these maps customly made just for that game mode so um definitely expect something different when you're playing war mode compared to just domination or team deathmatch or anything like that and i just want to let you guys know tdm domination war mode these are all different game modes that are going to be in it that's all they announced during the live stream i don't know if they're going to have uplink i don't know if they'll have hard point but i i think they would have a hard point i don't know if they have uplink though because think about it there's nothing really future or back in the old day they didn't really have anything to do with uplink you know there was no futuristic balls that they could throw or anything like that so i don't know if they're going to have that as a competitive side of this game but who knows and war mode is a 6 v six you guys it's not gonna be a hardcore ground war type game mode it's just gonna be a 6v6 which is gonna be fun and strategic i don't know they haven't announced anything on competitive yet but again you guys make sure if you guys are new to the channel and you want to hear any news coming up on call of duty world war ii subscribe to the channel because on this channel we're going to be bringing you guys the news as fast as we can um as you guys can see the gameplay behind it looks sexy it looks good i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys please can give this video a thumbs up and i'll be seeing you guys in the next video peace go ahead and click that subscribe button the bell right next to my name will be my post notifications make sure to save that and down below comment notifications on and you will have a chance to get a shout out in the next video guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if we can hopefully get this I'll be so happy, man. My first ever nuked out medal.